Hi there! Welcome to another edition of our lesson video in TLE6 Home Economics. Today's topic is marketing preserved or processed food. These are the learning competencies. These are the lesson objectives. 1. Market preserved or processed food in varied creative ways. 2. Discuss the tips to consider to succeed in business. 3. Package product for sale creatively or artistically, prepare creative package and use materials or sources locally. 4. Identify the guidelines in designing packaging. 5. Compute costs, sales, and gains with pride. 6. Use technology in advertising products. 7. Keep record of production and sales. Let's be informed. Filipinos love to eat. Producing and selling preserved or processed food has a high success rate and can provide additional income for the family. Like any product or service, however, a good marketing strategy and program can help create awareness of the product or service and boost sales. We market our products to be able to get prospective buyers. Here are some tips to serve as your guide to succeed in this livelihood. Place. Make sure that you are accessible to your market. If your place is not easily accessible or difficult to find, offer free delivery for bulk orders or charge a minimal delivery fee for smaller orders. You might also want to join local trade fairs to bring your products closer to prospective buyers or visitors. Quality Product No amount of marketing will succeed if a product is of poor quality. Before launching your product, Conduct a product tasting among friends, family members, and neighbors. Take note of their comments and suggestions to improve quality. Try them out until you come up with the best quality product. Efficient worker or helper. Once the orders begin to come in, and you start to get swamp, you will need to hire and train someone to help in production, marketing, and delivery. You may lose customers if you are unable to deliver or your product quality suffers just to keep up with volume orders. Capital In order to operate even a small business, there should be sufficient capital or money to buy the tools, equipment, and ingredients. Registration of business and getting the necessary permits from city government, Bureau of Internal Revenue, and others would also require payment of fees. Even the place of business or storage facility should be maintained and kept clean and orderly. These would also require additional expense on your part. Management A good manager is creative, decisive, and an excellent planner. You should also know to relate with your buyers, suppliers, and helpers. Packaging Aside from clay pots and bottles, your finished products can be placed in traditional baskets, sacks or trays. Dried grass, palm leaves, bamboo, and paper can also be used as packaging materials. As much as possible, plastic materials should be avoided in packaging products. Collapsible card boxes, fiber, wood, paper, or sacks can also be used when the products need to be transported. Is important for all kinds of products, it's one of the first touch points of a consumer and makes the consumer want to purchase the product. In the era of variety when every product has multiple variants, and as many brands, it's necessary to stand out from the competition. This is where packaging design comes into the picture. Guidelines in designing packaging 1. 
Make several studies or designs to choose from. 2. Make sure that the cost of the packaging does not exceed 15 to 20% of the cost of the product itself. 3. Make the packaging attractive to showcase your product but make sure that it does not become too expensive. 4. Label the packaging with the name of the product. If it is a food item, put the ingredients used in the label. There are a few factors that are considered as key in product packaging design. They can be listed as 1. Shape 2. Printed images or graphics 3. Packaging material 4. Practicality 5. Environmental impact 6. Printed information Some packaging design examples Packaging techniques that helps you in planning your own packaging designs.
cost-effectiveness of packaging. The use of packaging represents an added cost in marketing and the price of the marketed product. On the other hand, presentation and the quality of the product may make it more desirable. Moreover, the marketable life of the product may be extended because of good packaging. Computing for the cost and profit How would you know if you earned or not from your project? First, you have to compute the total cost of the product. Then, compute for the markup in order for you to determine the selling price to compute for the profit earned. Deduct cost from total amount sold. The excess amount less the cost is the profit. Let's explain. Answer the following questions. 1. What do you need to consider in packaging finished products? 2. How are you going to market your product? 3. How do you compute the cost and selling price of the finished product? 4. How will you know if you are earning or not? Let's remember. No amount of marketing will be successful if the product or service is of poor quality. Find ways to keep costs and expenses down without sacrificing quality. Accessibility is important because you will not be able to sell anything if your customers cannot reach you. Make your packaging attractive and functional but make sure it does not cost too much. Make use of recyclable or reusable packaging as much as possible. Make sure that important product information are found in the packaging. Reinforcement Design the packaging of your product following the guidelines in designing packaging. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content updates of upcoming videos.